Well, have you ever read the fine print of your home deed? Probably not. It might include the so-called racist covenants, long outdated statements in property documents saying only Caucasians can live in or buy property. Now, a change in state rules means counties are working to find any of these outdated and illegal restrictions and get rid of them. Here's NBC Bay Area's Sharon Katsuda. There are now 28 million property documents that Contra Costa County officials must go through to try and purge the racist covenants. And all Bay Area counties are going through the same process. We, we see it mainly in documents from the 40s and 50s. It's hard to tell which homes might have deeds with racist language, but counties are following new state law to purge all the racist language they're now finding in these old documents. We found in, in one of them, the buyer was like freaked out. I can still remember it. I was walking my dog. He texted me. He goes, what kind of garbage is this? And he, he, it was a screenshot. And it was like a statement that, that, that said, no person other than a member of the Caucasian race can be in this uh, property. County officials say courts have ruled this restrictive covenant language is illegal. Now, as they discover the lines in old documents, the county will redact them, making them completely unreadable. It's a process that will take time. We're hoping it'll be just a few years. The county has special software to go through all the home documents and will keep the original copy on file if any changes are made. And that no part of the real property shall be used or occupied by any person not of the Caucasian or white race, provided that they aren't um, in the capacity of a servant. A part of history that realtors and escrow companies should also be pointing out to buyers so this, if they discover it in a deed. Record, it can be controversial. Important. And so are we covering up history by doing that? Some realtors say it's good to learn from history, but maybe better to wipe it off these documents for good. At the very least, I think it's important for uh, an owner of a property, if they want to get rid of it, I think they should be able to get rid of it. In Martinez, Sharon Katsuda, NBC Bay Area News.